beautiful people. Um, Jeff's going to be winterizing the trailer today, so we thought that we'd share that with you and show you how he does it. Um, Luna's over here wanting me to play ball with her, but it has to be later, honey. Luna tuna. Okay, we'll take it over to Jeff. Hi, hon. Hi. Hey, welcome to the Ridgeway World. I'm Jeff. You're not. Uh, today, what we're doing, we're going to be winterizing the mobile mansion. Uh, it's getting a little chilly at night, and I don't want the lines freeze. I've drained the water out of the hot water heater already, which I'll have Terry show you that in a minute. And then I'm going to hook my compressor up. I hooked my compressor up to a uh, pressure-fitted line on the other side, which that do is going to pump air into the water lines. Then I'm going to run around like a scalded cat, and I like to bring up cats because I've got four so far. And... Um, then I'm going to so, slowly go from um, the kitchen sink to the bathroom sink to the shower to the washer or dryer hookup in the front. And that, then I'm going to let the water drain out until air comes out. So Yeah, and I've already emptied all the liquids out of the bathroom, the shampoos, uh, um, the mouthwash. Everything liquid-wise is out, so if it freezes, there won't be a mess. Um, and did you have to do anything before or... Uh, earlier this morning, we had a lot of rain yesterday, so I wanted to get get uh, all the leaves and sticks and debris off the top because I have uh, I have uh, hatches up there, I have solar panels up there, uh, so when I I wanted to get all the leaves off so the roof would dry before we put the cover on. And we got a new cover, which is heavier than tits, and uh, so I got to drag that up and flip flop that over the uh, top of the rig. Heavier than tits. Heavier than big tits. Oh my God sweaty big tits so all right so follow follow me over what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you where i hook it up to the the uh the air to the uh, water line and then what happens is don't trip on the hose tuna fish um that air compressor gets obnoxiously loud so at one point uh, when it starts up and pumps up the pressure uh, again i got it set at 40 psi so it doesn't blow my lines out but uh, when that comes on, there's going to probably be a clip of uh, Terry fixing the awning because our first first couple week outing or whatever, we had a, uh, a branch come through and rip a hole through the awning. So my lovely yeah, and I patched that like a week or so ago. Yeah, my lovely little canvas worker fixed it. Look, look, look. So over here, I, this is and then you, like uh, all other travel trailers, they have them in different places. Right. So yeah, this is like a little command center. This is where you would drain your tanks. Like here, right now, this is called a galley tank. This, I don't know if you can see it in there. It's a gray handle, I mean gray water. That's for the kitchen. So any water that goes into the sink in the kitchen goes to a holding tank and goes here. So if, if you're ever at a campground and you're hooked up to septic and you want to drain your galley, you, keep, you pull that open. The next is the bath tank. That's, a, that's for the bathroom area, the shower, the sink, not the toilet. And that's gray water again. Black water is the shitter. So all your shit and piss basically goes to the black tank. And then you would pull these handles out to drain them. They come out of this slot right here. This is where the sewage pipe would go at a campground. Sometimes campgrounds don't have sewage. Like state parks, a lot of them don't have it. So you would have to have it in your holding tanks. And then you would take it on your way out of the campground. There'll be a, a, a depot area where you would deposit it. So then you just hook your line up, pull your levers like I told you and uh, drain it out for your ride home. And you're hooking up the compressor to a certain line that yeah. that needs to be... It, it'll blow out all of them or...? It'll it'll take care of everything. I just got to scurry around like a, like a rat basically and open up to let the water out. Okay. But some trailers, like you could pump antifreeze right through this. This is a little contraption to Cedar Creek and I love the Cedar Creek. I always wanted a Cedar Creek since we started camping when the kids were... Uh, knee high to a grasshopper or whatever you want to call it. So, but I like to, since I've done this, and this included our trailer down to Avalon Campground, our park model, I used to go around and do this for other people there and help them out. But yeah, so I just hook up this fitting to my internal city water spot, which is right here. So I put that right on here. Screw that on semi-tight there, like that. And then I hook, see? That just, that just pressurized my water line, and you, uh, I don't know if you heard it on there, but I had drained my hot water heater already because I was afraid, and so... Afraid of what? Of freezing up. 
because oh. we had a couple of cold days. Oh, yeah, we did. So I, I drained it out and see, so there's no water coming out, but air is. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around, I'm going to hook this line up, then I'm going to go around to the spots throughout the trailer that I just told you about it, and I'm going to let the air push the water through, and then until air comes out of each line, then I'm going to unhook the air hose. Then you know it's done. I'm good. Okay. And, and then I'll show, after I'm done that, I'll show you what I, I do after that. And that's basically, you know, easy stuff, but follow me. Oh, oh. oh, okay. Gotcha. So let me go turn the compressor. What do you got, buddy? Well, once you turn the compressor on, I'm going to turn this off then. Okay. okay? Yep. Yeah, so the awning's only a year old, and we what we had is a, a big stick that came down. I don't know if you can see it. There's, through, there's light right there. If you get, there it is, right in the middle. So, what we're going to do is Terry's going to get up on the ladder, the rickety ladder. No, just kidding. It's pretty, it's pretty stable. And then uh, she'll just talk us through the process of how she's doing the repair on the awning. There'll still be a little black spot on the uh, top of the awning from the patch, but you know who cares? As long I'd rather have a patch than a, and a slit in it because anybody knows if you get a slit in the awning or that type of material. It turns into a long rip if you don't take care of it. So, hon, well, what are you explaining what you're going to do today? Well, here's the patch. Oh. Um, and I'm going to just clean it with a little bit of alcohol. Alcohol. I just got a little swab. Uh -huh. And then I'm going to um, take a little bit of HH66 vinyl cement. HH66. You've heard it here. It's HH66. Yes. And then I'm going to... Put some on this side and then put some on, on there. Adhere it after it gets a little tacky. Roll it. Like my jokes? Huh? A little tacky? A little tacky. Yeah. Ah! So. All right. All right. And so either can, way. And you can go up on the roof and get the bird's eye view. Oh, can I? That's nice of you to volunteer me to go up and get the bird's eye view. <laughs> so, okay. So as she uh, goes up the ladder, I'll go up the back ladder of the trailer and come up on top side. And uh, so you'll be okay if I don't hold the ladder? All right. Well, why don't you go? You go up to that height, okay. and then I'll, and then I'll go up and do my side. All right. Okay. You got to go one more, but I will. Okay. Put your yeah. Pack your shit away. Oh, I'm okay. Okay. Remember, right if you fall off the ladder, what do they say? Tuck Maybe. and roll. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. So I'm going the other side. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm topside on the mobile mansion here. Uh, there's Big Head down. Oh, hi, hi, hon. Uh, why do you always call me Big Head? Your head is bigger than mine. I know, but I always deflect by calling other people Big Head. So, she's rubbing the patch, or the, where the patch is going with alcohol to clean it. Yeah, see, can you see how dirty that was? Oh, boy. This whole thing needs to be scrubbed, really. Yeah, good for that. But it'll be in the spring we'll do that. Because right now we're just... Usually what I do after... Oh, I put that leaf. Is always put the bumpy side down, but not like when I put it like this. But I'm right now I'm putting it like that. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna take some glue. What? The H66? H866. Oh, 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 sorry. And you put some glue on this side. Okay. Right. You let it get a little tacky. Everybody's and you, then you put it over here on this side. Okay. You let it get and actually it'll get a little tacky fast because it's um, a little breezy out here. And all the fans are anticipating this sticky situation. Oh, that's corny. Well, you said tacky, I said tacky. Yeah. So it's, it's getting a little tacky right now. Okay. Does it have anything to do temperature-wise? Is there certain things you shouldn't do, uh, like too cold? If it's too cold, you it might, might not stick. Right. And then you just place it down. Uh, I have, this is actually a pastry roller, pizza roller for pizza dough, but it worked 
perfect for this. And oh, okay. I have a block of yeah, wood. Be careful, please. I have a block of wood down here. Okay. I'm going to put that under here so I have some pressure and just go like that. My whole life pressure. Right? And then just let it set for a while. And I usually put a little bit of powder, baby powder, whatever kind of powder, cornstarch, just around it so mm -hmm. that it doesn't stick to anything, especially if you were going to go roll it up right, right. away. But we're going to leave it out here dry to dry, so we'll be good. Okay? Sounds like a winner. All right. All right. Oh, we'll be back with more. I'm just look. Look how high this thing is down here. This is crazy height up here. But this is the top of the Cedar Creek. What a beautiful unit. So, either way, we'll be back to you. Bye. Hey, welcome back. Day two. Uh, yesterday when we cut it, it downpoured, so I had to change my sweatshirt because I got douched pretty heavy with the rain. Terry scurried inside to save the camera. And well, the... and yeah, that thunder was pretty loud. Yeah, I know. The clap, and God knows it you came out of nowhere. Clap. So, uh, what I did yesterday, I blew out all the lines, did the lower drains. People sometimes forget if you have a washer dryer unit attachment in the front of your trailer, the washer side still is active, so you have to make sure that's drained also. And then the next step after everything's completely drained, all the air is blown out of the lines and the, dra the bottom drains are uh, opened. So no more water's in the line. Then we come in, we have to do the traps of the sinks, shower, uh, and we use, this is two years old, about a year and a half old, RV Marine, this is good to 50 below. Okay, so what you're doing, you're putting this in a trap. The trap is, I don't know if anybody knows what a trap is, the trap is the piping that goes from the base of your sink or shower. It goes down and then it hits a slight loop. That's called a trap. That means water lays in that trap to keep from, you know, stink, uh, flies, insects from coming and transversing, odors transversing back into the trailer or your house, same in the house. So, childproof container. So how, oh, see, how it hit me right in the lip, so what do I do? That's pretty good. It's oh, sugary stop! So, we're going to pour some in the base, into the sink. And what this is doing is mixing with the water that's already in your trap. So that will allow it not to freeze. How do you know how much to pour? It's a guessing game. Oh. But since you have this big container and you only have basically three things to put it in, you know, you measure it out between that. You don't have to put any in the toilet because the toilet's not holding water. The wo and I'll show you that. Where Terry sits. Uh huh. Okay, so we're going to be pouring some in Ooh. the sink trap. Look, here's another one, the sink trap. And we'll, why don't we why don't we look at it? See if we, is there anything in here that shouldn't be seen? Okay, can you can you see that? See this humpy pipe here? That's called a trap. So if you think about it, when you when you wash brush your teeth, wash your face, whatever the hell you do in here. This much water lays in here constantly. Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be stuff that gets stuck in there. Yeah, and that's where the hair trap, all hair your hair too, gets right? trapped in. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's where you want that, this. That's, you should show them at some point how to empty that trap. Oh, I will. Um, from hair clogs. Because you could like pull tarantulas in out. Especially, I live with a uh, lovely lady who loses more hair than a human should, and it all ends up in that no, damn thing. No, actually, it's normal. Oh, okay. That was for the video. Uh-huh. Okay. So either way, we're pouring this in. Okay, so that just took care of that trap. We're also going to do the, the and shower. Sorry, you probably said before, what does this stop? This is like an antifreeze? Yes. And it Anti stops things from... Burst protection at okay. 50 below zero. So we're going to... Oh, you're pouring some in there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. There. So, so and these are the lines that you blew, blew out, right? This, yeah, this line was blown out, the toilet line, because the, all the water sprays around your toilet. So that water line's blown out. The okay. sink is done, hot water and cold, and there's a stink bug right there. I'm going to get rid of him. So then everything stays open, and the bottom drains are left open, so in case any moisture did get in there, it could drain out the bottom. So what okay. we've done so far, we've done the sink, the shower, and the uh, kitchen. We really don't have to do this because that's not holding water, see? You sure there's none at the bottom? Nope, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna pour a little bit more in this one just to use it up.
What? It, why it won't keep? No, I, for the next year. No, because I bought two the year before because it was hard to get. Remember, there was a problem. That, yeah, so I, I bought two of them. I only so need one. Okay, so all right. Well, I'm using. Um, you know, I'm frugal. I would be keeping uh, that for next year. Because you got another whole uh, use out of well, it. I've got a whole year to find another gallon. Yeah. So every year I do this for every trailer we ever had, and Terry never knew it. All this work I did on this. I always knew it. So I just didn't know how you did it. Even though I said now, I'm wait not a minute. For, yeah, you said you weren't going to pour it in the toilet. Well, I just like the color in the toilet. I've never peed this color, so. You are strange. You know that? So if there was any water left in the tank, in the what we say earlier about the gray line and the black line, the black line is for the toilet or end or shitter. If there's any water left in there, we got antifreeze in it now. Don't usually do it, but I did today. Taking the stink bug. Got him. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're officially... You got dog food in the strainer, so I'll get rid of that. Oh yeah, and now I have that uh, soap thing. Does that need to come out? The what? The um, wand with the with the detergent. It's in the sink. No, I don't think it will. That's okay? Yeah, it won't, it won't burst? It if it does burst, it'll go right down there. So, everything's ready to go. I shut the back window. I gotta shut the lights off. What about the refrigerator? Don't we have to do something with that? It, Clean it out or something? Yeah, like, which I can do. Moldy. Like, it, it'll be fine because it's gonna be cold. If, it, if this was dead summer, early spring, when it was really warm, then we'd have a problem. Okay. So, we're gonna, we, got, we gotta shut the awning because it rained so hard yesterday, I had to put the awning out and let that dry out. So, I'm gonna put that back. So, you can come on this side, huh? So, you don't fall off this side. Now, not, now, most trailers aren't like this because, you know, we've never, never had a trailer that has had electronics like this. Watch. Woo! It's a very convenient feature. Yeah, this is the Leapert system. I cuss the Leapert system every once in a while, which I did that past two weekends ago. Because it okay. needed to be rebooted a yes. whole bunch of times. And after researching it, I came to the conclusion... I think I was the cause of it. So I apologize to Leapert for bashing him. I'm sure I'll bash I him in the future. I don't think you bashed him on camera, did oh. you? No, but I was loud and yelling. So, okay, I think you should step outside because I want to bring the slides in. So what you need to do is make sure there's nothing imp impeding upon the slides going in. Made you cough, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right, I know you're angry. Angry 
easy to understate. I'm out of breath. I've been up and down the goddamn ladder, what, 15 to 20 times? The thing don't fit. Who we get that from? Amazon? Amazon? You ordered it. They said it would fit a 34.1 trailer. This is 33.8. So it gave a gap. So it should fucking fit. No cussing. I can't help it. This is bullshit. You know that. All this work we do in it, and it's wrong. Well, you're going to have to contact them. And there's nothing on the box that says it's whether you, what size it is. Well, you're going to have to contact them Look, and tell them. the box doesn't say it. It says 10, 30, well, we'll get the inch. we'll get the tape measure out. Fuck, I know. The, the video's over. I'm not done with it. I'll throw it in the goddamn dumpster. I don't give a shit anymore. It can stay out in the weather this year. I'll get one next year. Hey, everybody. Had a few days to cool down after my little episode that I had because the uh, cover wouldn't fit on the trailer. Uh, basically, it was my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. I admit it. It's so, okay. Yeah, but it I happens. might as well admit it. It happens. I should have measured twice, cut once. Well, not cut this situation, but I should have measured twice. I didn't take into consideration the ladder that's on the back of the trailer, so I sort of spazzed a little and, bit. And the, the way this bellows out in the front, yeah, like the measurements were like corner to corner, so probably... Pretty much like six to eight inches off. So I belly, bellowed out a few times, just like the front of the trailer. I bellowed and uh, said that bomb a couple times. And again, it was my fault. So I always try to do better and, and admit, admit defeat and I talk, my problems and my shortcomings. And what? I talked to Jackie and Larry, and they said that they will fix it for you before the shop closes. They'll fix that cheap cover? What do you mean, that cheap cover? Well, that's not that great of a cover. I mean, you guys make quality stuff. Not this is a pitch for A&J, but A&J is closing, but... This is light... It's lightweight. They, they have fixed them before. Not a lot. But some people have had them do repairs on them. Oh. So I know you ha had ripped a couple holes in it. So they will repair that, and they will, they will put in another foot inside of the body part so that it will go over... Um, the things that you have that ah, are cool. sticking out. Tell them thank you. I appreciate it. That way I don't have to try to lie and send it back to Amazon. And right. just say So it'll make me feel better because I basically probably would have ate it, you know, and, and just bought another one. to. So know, if anybody fit. has to measure something, they just have to remember to always go to the outside point where it's the widest or the longest. Right. Yeah. And you can just usually sometimes eye that up with your tape measure. So. But again, measure twice, cut once. Not in this situation, but it works. And, uh, yeah, tonight's meeting night, so try to get out of here before I take off just to give you the end of the video. Uh, but, again, thanks for watching. We're getting close to 25,000. Greatly appreciate all the support, the nice comments. Uh, we try to get on. the. Uh, we always try to get on and, and, and reply to comments or heart comments and things like that just to show we do care and we are involved. Uh, but either way, smash the like button, smash it hard, and have a great life and a good night. Or vice versa, have a good night and a great life. I always screw it up, so, but I'm human. Error, error is good, and admit your errors are even better. So, have a good night and a great life.